Let's talk about something that was very big that happened recently. The beta squad match. Man. Now we haven't obviously had our, added our two cents into it. Um, the positives we're going to start off with. Uh, Tell everyone how you felt though, straight away. How I felt about the way that the match ended. Very disheartened. Obviously this is a game that we have been focused on. Um, um, a lot of people behind the scenes made it, make, make, like, made it work. So obviously it was a lot of hard work that went into it. And unfortunately it was ruined um, with a, a pitch invasion. Obviously... Pitch invasions are very inevitable at this point. Sidemen have done loads of games. Uh, I was speaking to my manager earlier. We just heard it saying that out of the six games that there's been, um, there's two. been four pitch invasions and two trophy lifts. So it just shows you that our our fan base just won't let it happen for some reason. I don't know what it is. Mm. Obviously, we we got to a bit where it was very monumental because we've never had penalties in a charity game before. And um, yeah, it ended up getting stopped because of the fact the supporters came on, quote unquote supporters came on and ruined the whole thing. I spoke to KSI after it as well. And he said he was happy that it happened because of the fact that there's never been penalties before. So um, he said he didn't want it to be our game for the first one. He's a prick, you know that? No, I'm a wait, mom's life. no. I swear to God, he no, was laughing. No, but he, he... No, no, he's a pussy. I told no, him he was a pussy for that one. No, he probably... KSI, I know you're doing it. He said he was happy. No, was but he, it was like jokey by no, now. No, nah, it wasn't. Like, for example, this, let's just say if I dropped, you, you'd you probably say to me, oh, I'm glad you hurt your knee. No, like, it's just banter. No, no, no. You didn't mean it like no, that. You didn't mean it. Yeah, because he's a bad person. Oh. Yeah, I'm calling that KSI. Because I saw the tweet... He, it's something about like said, no, yeah. the, I think he commented in a live something. Yeah, he was trolling, but he quote unquote trolling. But that one hurt us because it was still very the wound was still open. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say because we're upset. Well, you actually spoke to him after, and he said yeah. that genuinely. He goes, over he goes, the I was happy with that you guys, and then I said you're a pussy, and he started laughing. You know, he laughed. And I was <laughs> like, oh, yeah, that one, yeah. But obviously, we're upset that there was a picture vision. Is there potential for a rematch in America? Yeah, of course. But then you know, what I mean, as time goes on, you kind of think. The buzz goes, so you're not really excited to do it anymore. Yeah, so. it's just a shame, man. I said it, I can't remember. I said it in some interview after. I was like, it's just a shame that those youths didn't look at the bigger picture. And that's why you could, that's why you could tell their kids and mad immature because it's like, bro, we're doing this for charity. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? And yeah. the fact that you run on this pitch and ruin the chance of the charity making more money and the match being more like his monumental or historic, I don't even know what word to pick yeah, than what it already, it already was. It's a shame. Um, and yeah, I remember this one guy, he ran onto the pitch and charged me for a pitch. I said, no, bro, what are you doing? Get mm -hmm. off the pitch. But then by that time I turned around and I said, yeah, good day, man. Let me just go into the change room. As soon as I saw the, uh, the one come, come for Kai, I was already on mm -hmm. edge because I was like, something's gonna happen. Then I saw hella use. I just started running towards No, him. bless you though. You was genuinely devastated. Of course though. I was, bro. Like this yeah. is our first event ever. You know what I mean? Like Chunks was in a change room, correct me if I'm wrong. But I thought you looked like you wanted to cry. I remember he took like the control of the change room. So for some reason, AMP and Beta Squad, you all were just being up in his home dressing room. And then Chunks was like, yo, everybody listen up. And he was like, yeah, like, unfortunately, I, I, weirdly enough, I think I'm all right acting, but I can't do it as well as he did it. But he was like, yeah, unfortunately, because of these kids decided to run on a pitch, man, the game's done. And yeah, man, just thanks everyone for coming, man. Appreciate all, all your hard work and efforts. And then that was it. Yeah, obviously, because I got, I got, I was, um, point of contact, you know what I mean? They came up to me and told me, Chunks, uh, the game's over. So you can go and tell your your teammates uh, and uh, AMP. So yeah, just went and I sat the change room and told them that it was done. Cause obviously we were trying to make penalties still a thing, but people just wouldn't evacuate the pitch. So that's obviously an issue. Agent was really annoyed. He had like the same frustration yeah. that you had. But overall though- it, Let's take away the positives. Yeah, let, yeah. Uh, it was amazing. My mom came, goals. my sister's game. No, nah, yeah, but the goals, one. man. It's one not even- one. Yeah, I couldn't even celebrate that first Yeah, one. I was dying. I was and then laughing. I realized, whoa, Philly, after I scored that, I said, what am I doing, bro? Right. Doesn't matter if the goal's dead or not, bro. It's a goal. Do you know what I mean? No, yeah. it's not even about, it's a goal. Like, right. all these people have come to be entertained. Yeah. So I do apologize if I come across like ungrateful. dry or ungrateful. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I, I, when I scored that goal, Harry said, oh, he goes to me, why didn't you celebrate? I said, the goal was dead. He was like, so? Like, for and you're still smiling now. Yeah, he was like, for the fans, bro. And I was like, wow, you're right. Like, it's not... Sometimes you play those charity games and every now and again, you forget why you're there. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And the main aim to it is to entertain and raise money for charity. And I was like, Harry was getting annoyed that we kept on conceding. And I was like, he was like, bro, how are you getting ripped down the left wing by the anonymous player? I said... Alfie, I said, Harry, it's Alfie going against a potential pro player for all I know. Do you get what I'm saying? Premier League. Like, it's, it's not going to happen, bro. 
Mm. Like I said, you, I said, the minute you get in your head, this is a charity match and we're all YouTubers. I said, you're not going to be angry. And then that's when he was like, yeah, you're right. Yeah. But yeah, apart from that was sick. What was your favorite moment of the game? Favorite moment of the game was AJ's goal. Yeah. Genuinely, man. Like obviously AJ and Sharky have never really played like charity match or Kenny as well. I haven't really played charity matches. You haven't seen them on the big stage. I mean, full crowds, bar match for hope, of course. But AJ played amazing. AJ obviously played very well. And obviously I play football with AJ every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. So we play very regular. And I know AJ's quality, you know what I'm trying to say? So when I managed, when he managed to actually get the game, I kept telling him, genuinely, I can ask him right now. I kept telling him, I said, yo, you and Philly will be our best players. And he kept saying, nah, Philly's going to be clear. I said, I'm telling you now, you've never played this. It's a different type of excitement for you. You're going to want to play well. And he was like, yeah, we'll see. I literally passed it to him and then just top right stanched it. Top his, yeah. took, his, took his shirt off, belly was swinging left, right and center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so happy for him, bruv. And obviously, um, yeah, I was very excited when AJ got the goal. Of course, Sharky scored as well. You Kenny played. scored as well. I know, that one where I just dropped uh, Will and Lee in the left foot it. Devastated, man. Bro, do you know how good that no, chop no, it was? No, top tier. And everyone- do I, not did, see... I genuinely didn't know you had that in you. I knew I had it. No, nah, chill, bro. You, you That's talk, me, like, you talk like genuinely. Yeah, go on. You used to play Prem. <laughs> I don't think you played top team Prem. You was like maybe Swansea when they were in Prem. Yeah, I was there. Me and me. I mean, you played the first player I thought of as well. Yeah, of course. Swansea first player I thought of as well. But I want to address the clip of Phantom uh, wetting me and, and then saying that they. Uh, let me tell you guys something quickly, yeah? No, that was everywhere. No, How's Phantom faster than you, bro? Phantom's faster than AJ. Phantom is a superhuman. Let me tell you about Phantom right now, yeah? Okay, you can see how Phantom's got a bigger belly than me, right? Yeah. So he's heavier than me, right? He does, he could do 50 press ups. When it came to a race, he had a race with AJ. AJ's very quick. He paced out AJ. Phantom is a is a different type of superhuman. So I knew in that Super foot race. Superhuman. No, in that foot race, I knew I wasn't winning. Wallahi. <laughs> I swear to God, I said, Wallahi. On my life, you could ask my physio. You could ask anyone there. My, I had the cramps I had in my hamstring and my calves. Yeah, I was done. So when I went one. for one run, no, but I knew I was never beating him. He was going to burn me up regardless. Yeah. I knew that. Well, I knew it. When AJ set me up, I said, fuck, because I'm not going to go in. <laughs> so I was running. Crampy, cramp, cramp. I said, yeah, I'm done. Obviously, Phantom wet me out. I knew he was faster than me. I have no problem with that. But obviously, when I saw I thought it was a funny <laughs> clip, of course. Yeah. It was funny. It was funny. It was um, funny. What hilarious. the clip didn't catch, though, is you getting angry at AJ that you put it in behind. You was I like, said, AJ, feed. I wanted to feed, <laughs> yeah. though. I wanted to feed. You, know, yeah, thinking, you can deal with it. Why more. would you get get me running for the ball? Like, it's so silly. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. You play to your players' uh, attributes, of course. But I don't know. But regardless, I was so happy with the game. I really, really loved it. And um, yeah, of course, I'm fortunate with the with the end result, um, but absolutely fine, man. Everyone was super nice though. We've, I feel like we picked the right people. Yeah. Sketch, what a lovely human being. Um, What's up, brother? Yeah, what a nice guy. Obviously, Kai, we know, the MP, man. But yeah, everyone was sick off camera too. Amazing, man. Um, you just came from Sweden. Yeah, sick, man. How's I that? get mad love in Sweden. I think mainly because there's a lot of East Africans there and um, I'd be dumb if I didn't realize that I feel like a lot of that fan base came through you or supporters, I don't really like the words fans, I say supporters came through you. Um, so yeah, I got mad love, I threw a party there, sold out in like two days. I walked in a dance, it was just bare East Africans, but I flipped it. How many it. people were the capacity? I don't know, I don't run them, my little sister does. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, man, it was sick, man. Sweden's a lovely country, bro, the city's so beautiful. Don't you feel like everywhere in Europe looks the same though? I know what you mean, I know what you mean, yeah, I agree. But then it's the same as America. America, as big as it is, a lot of it just looks the same. Everywhere's the same in it's Europe. Only, there's like, only so much you can do. I feel like it's very different when you go to Asia and Africa. They look very different compared to the Europe. And the, you know what I mean? But I also feel like it's the development of the country. Do you know what I mean? The yeah. more money the country has, the more better it looks. Quote Apart from Qatar, don't say Qatar, but what's the best country you visited, you reckon? Singapore's very nice. I like Singapore. I'm it hearing. Looks, yeah, it looks, it looks different. It looks kind of futuristic at that point. I haven't been to Japan, of course, but everybody talks about oh, Japan. I go Japan. Sharky's in Japan right now. He's in Japan right now. So obviously... Who? Him and Hasib, he's filming and stuff. He's got a stream today at 2 p.m. So that's that's one thing I, that he's I done. Really AJ's done it as well. Japan. So they said that the Japan is futuristic, completely crazy. You so. know, the only reason I want to go for is just for food and clothes. I heard that their fashion's different. And also their skincare. You see see the, the Asian countries like South Korea, Japan, them kind of places, they don't play about when it comes to skincare, man. They, they, were, they are hundreds of miles. No, I'm telling you, it can even look better than that. Shine in the shine shine. So shout out to Korea Bro, man has had one Japan. facial in his life. I think I've got great skin. You got a facial, yeah? Love yeah. though. Um, but at the end of the day, yeah, that's my brother, Philly, with the face. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, Sweden, that's Sweden for 